Hello there, I'm Jimmy Tran. I'm here today to talk about a serious disease that's afflicting millions of Americans. It's called spreadsheet paralysis. Caused by staring at countless columns of numbers for hours on end, its symptoms include confusion, anxiety, and a desire to throw away your computer in the garbage. But there's good news. We here at Google have a cure for spreadsheet paralysis. It's called the Explore button. In a previous episode, we talked about how to use the Explore button in Google Docs and Slides that make formatting, researching, and designing a snap. Well, the same is true for Google Sheets. Just click the button on the bottom right-hand corner, and Explore will help you understand and visualize your spreadsheets. Let's take a look at our production team stats. With Explore, you can analyze your data by asking questions with actual words, as opposed to complex formulas. You can search your spreadsheet based on what you've labeled your data. For example, let's take a look at our task column to find the project we focused a lot on this last quarter. In the search bar, search for most frequent task. Previously, if I was trying to find that out using a formula, this is what I would have to type. And if this looks like something out of the matrix to you, then Explore is going to be your best friend. You can compare different columns, find averages, even track data over a certain date or holiday. And Explore can recommend new questions to ask or formulas to drag and drop right into your sheet. Explore also offers one-touch formatting to give your sheets a professional level of clarity and polish. Just click the color scheme you want, and it applies seamlessly across the entire sheet. No more having to go cell by cell or column by column. My boss is going to love this. Let's go with yellow. Beautiful. Finally, Explore can provide instant insights by generating a variety of charts and graphs based on your data. And the charts and graphs update automatically whenever you change the data itself. For example, our most relevant stats that we look for our team is average time and count of work per member. I'm going to go ahead and pull these two charts, resize, and put them front and center so my manager can easily visualize the numbers. So take a look at Explore in Google Sheets and protect yourself against spreadsheet paralysis. Speaking of, feeling cured there, Lily? Well, my boss refers to me now as spreadsheet queen. What do you think? OK, Your Highness. OK. Anyways, we'll be back next week with an all-new episode. Thanks for watching. Managers can get bogged down trying to oversee sick leave and vacation requests. Time off requests are often tracked manually with really no standardization about who's asking for time off or what time they're asking for. And employees get anxious waiting around for approval. 